We're at the biblical Feast of Trumpets, that time that signals the second coming of Jesus Christ, a time with the sounding of the seventh trumpet, as Revelation shows us, when Christ returns and the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our Lord and of His Christ. It's one of the annual festivals that God commands us to keep. We read the command in Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 23, where it says, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial, a blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. And you shall do no work on it, and you will offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. The Feast of Trumpets is mentioned several other places in, in Scripture, and it actually its theme and its meaning is carried well into the New Testament in many different places from the words of Jesus Christ, the Apostle Paul, as well as uh, Peter, and uh, in the book of Revelation. When we look at what is the root basis of the Feast of Trumpets here in Leviticus 23, 23, it is the sounding of a trumpet. Historically, in the scriptures, the sounding of a trumpet is a call to alarm, to war, to assembly, uh, or of an impending danger. Every year on the Feast of Trumpets, Christians should take stock of their lives and where they are as they anticipate the events of this day and move through life with an urgency that applies to us in our particular lifetime, regardless of when the ultimate fulfillment of the events symbolized by this day, particularly the resurrection and the second coming of Jesus Christ will take place. Because it is in our lifetime that there is a sense of urgency when this message comes to us. And that is probably one of the most significant matters for you and I to consider on the Feast of Trumpets. It was a day of blowing of trumpets. If you stop and think about your relationship with God and what began your knowledge, your journey, your relationship with your Creator, it all began with the sounding of a trumpet. When we began to approach God, when we were called to assemble before God, when a sense of urgency about life and about salvation and about a relationship with Jesus Christ became so urgent that it led us to a repentance and a change in our life that brought us to a defining moment and a defining period. It was all by the sounding of the trumpet. Think about this in regard to this festival, this holy day, and this assemblage. Every day in our life, there should be the sounding of a symbolic trumpet of urgency for us to live for God, developing a relationship with God, preparing for that time when we will be changed at the sounding of a trumpet uh, and our bodies change from mortal to immortality, as Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the resurrection chapter. Every day, a trumpet should sound in our lives and move us closer to the fulfillment of our purpose and our destiny and our relationship with God. Enjoy, observe, and keep the Feast of Trumpets and all that it begins to move us toward and understand it as God intended, as He calls us before Him on this holy day. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.